Welcome to the Jeremy Hill Show. If you're easily triggered, leave now because this is not the show for you. Now, what I'm going to tell you right now, for educational purposes, if you are a woman who denies her child the privilege and opportunity to have a good, stable, and healthy relationship with that child's father, then you are a sellout to the whole black community. When the father falls, the entire family falls. If you have a husband, you kick him out, you destroy the family. If you have a man who's trying to be in that child's life, you are destroying that child's future in some way. A child can be successful when that child is living with two divorced parents. One child, I mean, one parent is living their life, another one living their life. But that child will always be missing something. And that something can only be filled by that child's father when you push that father away. So let me go ahead and play some things, man. So you can see this for yourself. One second. Give me a moment. Daughters need their fathers in their yeah. lives. Like, if you have your father in your life, like, tell you something small. This, like, I love you, or, like, this is what you should, this is what you shouldn't, this is the type of people you should avoid, this is the type of people you should not avoid. Like, just telling you those, like, men, like, men advice. Like, some yeah. people don't have any male yeah. figure in their lives. The male figure is, is, their, is their little brother, or the male figure is their, is their, their friend. Like, I don't think that's enough. Like, some people really need parental figures. Women, girls need their fathers in their lives just as males need their mothers in their lives and it's so unfair if a, a girl is growing up and she doesn't have a, a, a father and she might turn out a certain type of way she might turn out as needing love from the world but it's not even her fault because she doesn't even know what she's doing a daughter who's being raised without her father does not know what she's doing especially when it comes to men when you push away the daddy you are messing up her life you are jeopardizing her life you are giving her a higher chance of becoming very, how can I say, out there in those streets, live a lifestyle of debauchery and promiscuity. You have heightened her chances of getting on drugs. You have heightened her chances of dropping out of high school. All because that father is not there to shelter and to guide, to show her an example of what a good man is. So therefore she goes out into these streets and look for any type of man that shows her any type of attention. And since she can't differentiate between a good man and a bad man because she never had the ability to be around a good man in the presence of her father, she's just going to let anyone run up in her. She's going to be easily influenced and naive and gullible. And there's only so much that a woman can do to teach her daughter to be able to be prepared for a man who don't have her best interest at heart. This is why fathers are needed. She's just... She tries to figure out the world on her own because she didn't have any guidance and it's so unfair. As a lot of people like, um, they might get might get pregnant, they might fall into toxic relationships. Some people they've seen like they might see, they might see domestic violence in their in their homes with their parents. So them to decide. Did you hear that? Got more for you. One second, please. Give me a moment. Here it is. So I guess that's like the positive, but then the negative would be like this mentality of like fuck all men, which is kind of also like rooted with like daddy issues, I feel like. Mm, daddy um, issues? What do you mean by that? Just because like when you grow up with like a good, when you grow up with healthy men around your life, you don't, you see their value. You know, so it's like for mm. me, like I adore my dad. Like he's been such a strong foundation to our family and he represents like what a man should truly be, right? But opposed to someone that grew up without a dad or with an abusive father, it's easy for them to find, you know, toxic men and then think, oh, all men suck because they don't mm. know what it's like to have a good men figure in their lives. So for me, it's really easy to identify toxic men and healthy men because I grew up with healthy men and I know my worth. Now, let me say this, and this is going to make you feel bad, lady. I don't care. A lot of the reasons why you find these young ladies who are getting deceased or deleted by men who are toxic, it's your fault. Because you are denying these daughters of yours the opportunity to be able to value what a good man is 
or to identify what a good man is if you remove the good father from that child's life. Even if y'all didn't get along and that man wants to be in that daughter's life to treat her and to show her what a man should do for her. She won't know. All she got is social media, influences of her negative peer. So when she get a man and he is abusive and he ends her life, I want you to know a lot of that burden and a lot of that fault is on your shoulders. I don't care if you get mad, you got blood on your hands. Because a good man will equip his daughter and son with the needed skills to be able to differentiate good people from bad people. There's only so much a woman could do. And how can a woman teach another daughter what to look for in a man when she made bad decisions herself? You slept with Pookie, got pregnant, or you slept with a good man, but you try to trap him, or you slept with a good man, he told you he didn't want no children, but you still want to have child children anyway, or you had a good man and you just had a bad attitude and he don't want to be with you, but he has a child and he want to take care of that child. If your daughter gets in a situation, and I know a lot of people are going to give me some pushback, I don't care. When you remove the protective influence or the barricade of a good father away from that daughter, if she get out there with a man and she get deleted, a lot of that is your fault. It's not just her taking choices. Make, she made choice. I give her accountability too. She should have did something different. But you did not give her the tools she needed to survive out there. Do you understand what I'm saying? Woo! One second, I got something else to show you. Deserve what? Each other. Wow. Mm. I would be nothing without my father. Yes, I need my father. I need black men. We all need black men. Do we need men, black women? Do we need them? Oh my gosh. Yes. I know we're supposed to be short and sweet, but again, Give it to us. why would we not need Yes. Them? Yes. That's insane. Um, and I, I go back to the crack cocaine epidemic, you know, for some reason, I don't know, society was mm -hmm. able to convince us mm -hmm. that we should throw our men away. Oh, when we went through this epidemic, they told us that our men had no value. And so what did our men start to believe that they had no value? And then we became surprised or, you know, upset that our men started to disappear. But if you start to tell our men that they have no value and our men start to believe they have no value, they believe that they are doing the best thing for you by not being there. And so I am very grateful. Now I'm passionate about this because I hate it when people did that in my own family, mm -hmm. when they tried to make me devalue my father because he had an addiction. He is mine. He is my father and he has value and everything that he has done in spite of his addiction still contributed to my life. Mm -hmm. I would be nothing without my father. Yes. I need my father. I need black men. We all need black men. We need black families to be back on track with the entirety of our community. We come from an, a people who believe in the community of people. Now, all of a sudden, again, and maybe that's my most controversial thing. I'm a boss. I'm not a boss. Mm. I am a woman. I like when she said that. She said openly she's not a boss. And this is a successful, this is a very successful woman. This I'm a boss independent thing has messed up women everywhere, especially in our community, man. When you say that you are a boss, the way they mean it is they don't need no man. You need a father. You need, look here, if you don't want men, then why you keep chasing them? If you don't want men, how can you keep complaining about the men that you keep trying to choose? Okay? The reason why you don't want no father figure in your life is because you don't want to be held accountable. You don't want an authority figure in your life. That's what that is. Because a man who's a real man is going to tell you no. And the one thing that women hate to hear the most is the letter, I mean the word no. You can't do that. Don't dress like that. Don't hang out with those people. You don't want that. And as a result, look at your outcomes. Look at the type of men you've been getting. Look at all them stretch marks you get from having all these different babies from different men. Look at all your failed relationships. Fathers are needed. Men are needed. Woman who is here to nurture my children and my men. No, we absolutely need our men. La this is the second to last question. Finish this statement. Black women or black men deserve what? Each other. 
Wow. That's simple. That's simple. That simple. That simple. One more and we out of here. Give me a second, please, as I pull on your screen. Listen to this lady. Woo! My kids need their daddy. You know, I need their daddy because having him around makes things so much easier. So this morning, I'm talking to the son, and I'm like, hey, boy, I need you to do this. I need you to do that. And he pouting, making all this noise, rolling his eyes, complaining. Homeboy, my husband, came out the room was like, hey, what your mama tell you? Get in there and put them dishes away. Get in there and get that stuff done. Homeboy got up and did exactly what his daddy said. So I don't know about y'all, but these kids need that damn daddy because daddies just make things easier. I don't know why these kids give mamas so much hell. And all the daddy has to do is come out of the room and just look at them. Give them that look. Y'all know that look. <laughs> and they get them moving. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That I married my baby daddy, honey, because whew, he makes things easier. Yep, you better listen to these ladies. But anyway, you let me know what you think about this subject here. I'll talk to y'all later. Take it easy now, yeah. Say that you've changed, but.